Hello there. So this will be the installation of the M2 drives. So I got a couple of M2.2280 drives that I'll be installing on the MSI MPG Z690 Edge Wi-Fi DDR4. I'll be have I'll be installing uh, pretty much like the same size, but the main drive will be a the crucial p5 plus and the secondary drive will be the um, ssd 980 from samsung it's pretty pretty amazing how small and how how tiny the new drives are now on my old machine i still have the old western digital green drive back in 2008 i'm actually amazed it's still alive i was I was expecting it to die because normally back in the day back back in like late 90s um early 2000s or actually even mid 90s normally hard drives would last like from three to five years and you know um i remember what I've, I've had different types of brands from maxter Ma yeah it's maxter well, seagate and then a couple of other other um drives and normally three to five years they'll just you know they'll just start clicking then die basically now i'm amazed even um, you know my, my old machine i have it for like i've had it for more than a decade and it's still running but i've always backed it up anyway so so that's good so basically i actually re reinstalled the plates here again so if you could see actually let's see there so i removed this initially removed this and then there's one more here i didn't install because i'm not going to use it but basically first thing you need to do is remove the plates here remove these two they act as a heat sink too there's a um, thermal pad in between them so we're going to remove them and then put the drives in and uh, put put them back again So make sure you got basically the only tool you need is a Phillips screwdriver. It'll be good if you have a magnetic one, just in case for if the screwdriver pops up and pretty much you know uh, falls somewhere. At least it's easier to catch. So the first drive here it already has a lock the you can see it here let me get a where's that pen with the flashlight on make it easier to see so okay so there's already a m2 lock here the funniest thing is the this one has one here this one doesn't and the one here doesn't have one so make sure you get it you get it ready your board should already have it anyways make sure you have that m2 lock because we're going to install it later so it should be in the parts bin basically of your board so let's remove this other heat sink when the okay here like this one so the screw this one's not really doesn't have like a holder on it so it really helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver so it won't fall inside the motherboard and give you a hard time trying to get it basically because it's fairly small let's see pretty small okay and then we can remove this 
and you can see the slot here. So second row will be here. I'll put a lock there. So let me just uh, open it up and get it and put it there and then we'll install the drives. Okay, I was wondering why this one, the second one, basically the M2 here, the M2 slot here, doesn't have the same lock as the one here. I actually just removed this one to kind of make sure that, you know, it's, uh, it's the right one. So I got, so this is, what it looks like that one and then you'll have a pack here actually it's extra because you really don't need it here because that's actually used by this screw right here so I was wondering why they didn't put it in but once you put the M2 there it's gonna get locked using that screw so in essence this one you don't have to replace I was going to replace it initially and then I was wondering yeah I mean you know of course their engineers are definitely smart smarter and doing things so they made it seamless where that heatsink locks here and the other one the heatsink would lock here so that's why they put the the M2 lock over here so let me put the M2 lock back here and put the drives in before I put the heat sink and close it all down and uh, get this puppy going okay so I have the two of them here the crucial P5 and the Samsung SSD 980 so all you gotta do in this case is push it down and then use this screw thing here for this case or for this first slot the second slot I'd probably have to put the heatsink together so I'll do that later what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top first and I'm gonna remove this put it on and screw it all back together Okay, so pretty much that's it. So good luck on your build and I hope this was helpful and um, we'll see the, well once it's all done I'll probably post a final build on all of this piece. But yeah, so basically I'll put this there and then I'll put the bigger one here and lock this down and uh, that should take care of things. I'll, I'll post, I'll take another video when I'm done and they're all in place cool okay there it is so we got the hard drive here the other one here so the two hard drives are there and we'll be I'll be putting back the rest of the system and uh, testing them out okay thanks for watching hope, hope this install helps for the MSI MPG C690 Edge Wi-Fi DDR4 and I did not put the heatsink below because I'm not going to put any hard drives in I just wanted to keep it clear anyway so it's just like you know extra weight for essentially doing nothing unless I expand my hard drive which is that's why this motherboard is pretty good because you've got a couple of more um, slot for M2 SSDs if you want to expand okay thank you